Hello, so if you're watching this, you're probably a development study student who have come to IDS. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the Gender Identity and Inclusion module, um, 30 credit module, uh, and why uh, you might want to choose that as an option. Um, the why, the how, the who, the what uh, of the module in four or five minutes. Um, so wish me good luck. So why, why do you want to do this? Um, question is really back to you. Do you care enough about the who of development uh, uh, and about identity and what that really means? Uh, your own position and privilege uh, in relation to development. Um, that's really fundamentally what it is about. So how is the structure uh, module structured? It's basically uh, structured to look at gender and identity, which of course is also class, race, um, uh, sexuality or, or nationality, etc., in relation to various topics and fields and dimensions of development from the economy to culture, society, institutions, to politics, to uh, social movements and people's struggles. Um, so we do that uh, linking it to different sectoral approaches and disciplinary approaches in, in, um, in the module Ideas and Development. Um, so you will essentially develop a more critical lens on development, which is in tune with um, the realities of real people and their politics um, in the field. So who is teaching on this? It's a diverse range of fellows and staff around IDS and Sussex um, looking at different sectors, uh, including myself. You can read the names, of course, in the module document. Um, just, uh, but we're covering topics such as sexuality and violence, um, health and uh, reproductive rights, um, education, um, the environment and resources, um, the economy and the hidden care economies, um, politics and, and some other topics. Uh, how do we teach it? We, we use a, across this variety of different experts who have real experience in the field, we have a mixture of teaching approaches from presentations to exercises, group work, uh, and also interactive discussions, of course. Um, the reading is compulsory before the sessions, in the case of essential readings, of course. Uh, we'll challenge ourselves and yourselves um, for reflexive awareness uh, on our own positionality in, in development. We try to create a safe space um, for real equality, for open sharing, but a space in which we can push each other out of that comfort zone um, and uh, have some accountability for our own um, standpoints and so on. Uh, then what? There's a set of learning outcomes that are in the module document. You should look at this presentation that is available as well as the module document. Um, essentially, you'll be able to critique programs um, on gender and identity and inclusion more um, successfully. You'll be able to uh, th link people's identities with um, uh, how policies and programs might lead to inclusion or exclusions. Uh, you'll be... Uh, essentially better at analyzing policy. You'll be doing a policy brief um, in group, in a group work. So you'll also learn about co uh, collaborating effectively in teamwork and producing a real output. So how much is it all worth this for this 30 credits in terms of input um, to be assessed? You've got one term paper uh, worth 75% of your grade, uh, which is 3,750 words. That's complemented by a group presentation that I mentioned, um, where you work in a group and develop a 1,250 word policy briefing. That's, is, that's then assessed, um, the group in the group is assessed and everybody in the group gets the same grade. So I can refer you to a short presentation that's available as well as the module document for further questions. Obviously there'll be many. Hope to see you soon.